I I who? I, we, repeat, we repeat again. I I am a woman of grace. I am a woman of purpose. I am a woman of worth. I am devoted to God. I am devoted to my purpose. I am devoted to my assignment. My family is my priority. And Jesus is my king. I am a woman of grace. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, when I was told that I come to share a word with you, I thought of what I can give to women and what I will tell you. But I found a poem that I will sing for you. Hallelujah. This is the poem of a woman of grace. And this is who she is. They say that I am a woman. They assume I will always bow down. They know I care and I understand. They assume I enjoy being prayed aloud. When will they realize that it is a shame to take a woman for granted? A pity to discount her true potential. A crime to step over her dignity. They forget a man is um, they forget a man is almost always close to nothing without a woman's empty sacrifice. Be it in his mother his wife, his sister, his friend, or his daughter. Every woman is an incarnation of a mother on earth. I believe her indeed and various must carry for us solemn priority. Although she can't carry her worth in pocket or, pass or, or passes, she breathes life into through feeling action and words she deserves just as much love as respect as a man does no holding to position or breadwinner doesn't mean she isn't learning the world anyway she deserves to tell her her story as much as successful man for she goes through the same, if not greater number of struggles than men. No man should brag before a woman because all men came from women. I am a woman of grace. That one you can only get it in Apostle Moridi Nuggets. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want you to miss your value at all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want you to lose. Si sturi wina kire watu wanasema kukuhusu. Hallelujah. Si sturi wina kire watu wanakutinti nayo. Hallelujah. You know because most of men are weak. They like to discriminate women so that women can become weaker than them. But that is not your portion today in the name of Jesus. We may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to share something. Uh, and a welcome to Women of Grace chapter 1, right? Amen. Why is it that women are not happy today? Is it not your day? Hallelujah. 
Why is it that we men are not happy? Hallelujah. Because it is a day of uh, women of grace. Allow me to call one woman to interpret for me. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, I need another mic, Steve. Help this sister to uh, do it well for me. Uh, I know you are not here. You are here now. Come and do it for women. Hallelujah. Just come here. Clap for her. Do it better for, an, for your neighbor colleagues. There is something that I came to realize. Kuna kitu kujua. That the enemy of a woman ya kwamba adui wa mwanamke is not man. Si mwanamme. Is his fellow woman. Ni mwanamke mwenzake. How many knows that? Wangapi wanajua hilo? Women hate women, not men. Wanawake wanachukia wanawake. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you want to prove that an enemy of a woman is a woman. Na kama unataka kujua ya kwamba adui wa mwanamke ni mwanamke. Any time. Kila wakati. A man goes outside the wedlock. Kila wakati mwanaume atatoka nje ya ndoa. He leaves a woman. Anaacha mwanamke. And he goes to who? Na anaenda kwa nani? He goes to kwa mwanamke. To another. So, women. Kwa hivyo wanawake. Who are the enemies of women? Ni nani adui wa mwanamke? I'm asking women. I talk to me, let us talk. Let's talk. Who is the enemy of a woman? Ni nani adui wa mwanamke? No, no, no snake. It Mwana. is another woman. Ni mwanamke mwenzake. I don't like this mic. Give me my mic back. Let me tell you this and you understand it carefully. Wacha nikuambie hii na uelewe vizuri. Women wanawake has a great value in the kingdom of God. Wana faida kubwa katika ufalme wa Mungu. Let me surprise you. Wacha nikushangaze. That the kingdom of God ya kwamba ufalme wa Mungu is a kingdom of women. Ni ufalme wa wanawake. It's not for men. Si wa wanaume. Hallelujah. Amen. When God created everything, wakati Mungu aliumba kila kitu, everything, kila kitu, including man, hata mwanamme, he said, alisema, it is not good. Sio vizuri. Say it is not good. Sema sio vizuri. For this man to stay alone. Kwa huyu mwanamme kuishi peke yake. But God was, not, God was not concentrating with the man, at, man, man alone. Lakini Mungu hakuwa anaangalia mwanaume peke yake. So he looked at the universe. Kwa hivyo aliangalia ulimwengu. And he said it na is ka, not good. Na akasema sio vizuri. For the world without a woman. Kwa ulimwengu kuwa bila mwanamke. So your neighbor this world is not good without me. Ambia jirani yako ulimwengu huu sio mzuri bila wewe. Ah turn to your neighbor muambie Ah uh, this world is not good without me. You are the one who is making this world spicy. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want you to understand. I often say this. When a woman was being molded. Wakati mwanamke alikuwa anaumbwa. Men were asleep. Wanaume walikuwa wamelala. So man knows nothing about a woman. Kwa hivyo mwanamme hakuna kitu anajua bila mwanamke. Man knows nothing about women. Wanaume hawajui kitu kuhusu wanawake. Let me tell you this, we are amazed about you. Wacha niwaambie wanashangazwa na sisi. That is why Ndiyo maana a man leaves a wife in the house. Mwanamme anaacha mwanamke kwa nyumba. Anakutana na dada kwa barabara na alikuwa na dada kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Anamwagalia. Anapelekana na yeye kwa uso. Anapelekana he is amazed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Men are amazed. 
Wanaume wameshangazwa. By this creation that God created. Na hii hizi viumbe Mungu aliumba. Hallelujah. Amen. But the funny thing lakini kitu cha kushangaza ni hiki. I want you to understand this. Nataka ukaelewe hivi. The difference between men and women. Tofauti kati ya mwanamke na mwanaume is like heaven and earth. Ni kama mbingu na nchi. Hallelujah. Amen. Men do not challenge God but women do. Wanaume hawezi challenge Mungu lakini wanawake wanaweza. Hallelujah. Amen. All women. Wanawake wote have plan B. Wako na plani ya pili. All women. Wanawake wote. Hapana, mimi nasema mpango wa kado. Eh. Hallelujah. Amen. All women. Wanawake wote. Including faith. Mpaka mimi. They have plan B. Remember we are alive. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Abia uliza neighbor wewe uko na mpango wa kando? Wewe uko na mpango wa kando. Wanawake wote wameubwa wakiwa na mpango wa kando. Every woman is created with a plan B. It is their nature kuwa na mpango wa kando. Ni kawaida yao kukuwa hivyo. Mabenye anajifanya rais ya sapa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ask faith. Niulizeni. Anajua vizuri kabisa mbwanaki ataleta chakula jioni. But she knows what to do. Anajua kile cha kufanya. If my nada does not bring food. Kama haitapatikana. The yours have run be. Ninajua jinsi ya kuileta. Am I right or am I right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Women has always an option. Wanawake wanakuanga na mpango mwingine. Hallelujah. Amen. And God loves women so much. Na Mungu anapenda wanawake sana. God loves women so much. Mungu anapenda wanawake sana. God loves women so much. Mungu anapenda wanawake sana. I think you did not hear that. Ni kama hamjasikia hivyo. If I said president Ruto loves women Nikisema have... Ruto anapenda wanawake You could have been more happier Pengine mngeshangilia zaidi But I'm saying God loves women so much Lakini nasema Mungu anapenda wanawake sana Let me show you how women has plan B Wacha niwaonyeshe jinsi mwanamke anakuanga na mpango wa kando Women carry bags wanawake huwa wanabeba vibeti. It's very hard to see men carrying bags. Ni ngumu upate mwanamume akiwa na kibeti. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you see a woman na ukiona mwanamke walking by high heels akitembea na konkong check her bag. Angalia mfuko wake. Kuna mpango wa kando. Lazima kuwe na mpango wa kando. Ako na flat shoe hapo. Mhm. Mm Ni wagapi sasa wako na mpango wa kando? Haleluya. Amen. Why women wako na mipango ya kando? Hey. I wonder how you people challenge God. Huwa ninashangaa jinsi mna challenge Mungu. You know the way you are seeing me. Unajua jinsi mnamuona. Is the way God created me. Hivyo ndivyo tu aliumbwa. Nothing more, nothing less. Hakuna kitu cha kuongezea wala kupunguza. But women lakini mwanamke still feels that they are incomplete. Bado wanahisi kana kwamba hawajakamilika. God gave you a very beautiful a very beautiful hair. Mungu alikupatia nywele mzuri. You added another one. Unaongezea zingine. Hallelujah. Amen. God gave you very nice ears. Mungu alikupatia masikio mazuri sana. Ye huyo ulitoboa. Ukaongezea shimo. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu akakuumba kama mimi, black beauty. Hallelujah. Amen. Ye huyo kwa kio na foundation. Bwana sana. Amen. To get a real woman 
kupata mwanamke kamili you need to wake up very early in the morning and Lazim, take on her. Lazima uamke asubuhi mapema upatane na yeye. Before she goes to the mirror. Kabla hajaenda kwa kioo. That is a woman. Huyo ni mwanamke. It is very hard to understand a woman. Ni ngumu sana kuelewa mwanamke. I wish my my mic had some bass. So I want you to understand. Ningetaka ukaelewe that ya kwamba a woman mwanamke and a woman of grace na mwanamke wa neema is a woman of purpose ni mwanamke ambaye yako na kusudi hallelujah amen i want to refer ningetaka kuangalia to the book of proverbs that one we know that woman very much katika kitabu cha medhali 31 and i want to show you how important you are na nataka kukuonyesha jinsi muhimu uko huko and the time to stop discriminating women is now na wakati wa kuacha kudharau wanawake ni sasa hallelujah amen the time wakati to rift women is now wa kuinua wanawake ni sasa hallelujah amen besides every successful man kando ya mwanamke ambaye amenawiri there is a woman with a vision kuna mwanamke ambaye yako na maono haleluya amen there is a woman kuna who has the capacity kuna mwanamke akona akona capacity ama akona uweza there is a woman who has that capacity mwanamke akona uweza to hold that man wa kushika ule mwanaume for you to give birth you need a womb kwa kwa mwanamke kuzaa lazima awe na For a person to give birth you need a womb. Kwa mwanamu kwa mtu ili azae lazima awe na lile umbo la uzazi. And man carries the pregnancy or uh, carries the vision. Na mwanaume anabeba maono. But it is the woman who gives birth La- to that vision. Lakini ni mwanamke atazalisha yale maono. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is a woman of grace? Mwanamke wa neema ni nani? Who is a woman of grace? Mwanamke wa neema ni nani? And I will say this. Na ninasema hivi. According to Proverbs 31. Kulingana na Methali 31. A woman of grace. Mwanamke wa neema depends on God. Anategemea Mungu. A woman of grace. Mwanamke wa neema is devoted to her family amejiachilia kwa familia yake diligent in her work akona ule ujasiri ama u, u... those are three natures of that woman na hiyo ndiyo tabia ama character ya mwanamke huyo go to verse 10 in proverb that one i love message bible but we can work with that one first <laughs> Can you put message bible or amplified? Uh-huh. Can we read one to go? A good woman is Mwanamke mzuri ni ngumu kumpata. A good woman is Ah uh, say it again. Is hard to find. Ah uh, say it again. A good woman is hard to find. Oh yeah, neighbor, it is very hard to find me. Ni ngumu sana kunipata. How many knows the more adequate a thing is or inadequate a thing is? Ni wangapi wanajua vile kuna upunguvu wa kitu? The higher the price. Hivyo ndivyo kina kina bei ya juu. Nilimwambia juzi kama viazi zilikosa zikapanda bei. What about a woman a good woman of grace? Hallelujah. Amen. Ambie wewe ni zaidi ya bei ya viazi. Wewe ni zaidi ya bei ya viazi. Mustu asikubebe kama bei ya viazi. Amen. Amen. A good woman is hard to find. Mwanamke mzuri ni ngumu kumpata. And Worth far more than diamonds. Na ni wadhamana sana kuliko dhahabu. Next verse. Mm-hmm. Can we read? A husband trusts her without reserve. Huh? Her husband trusts her without reserve. Her husband trusts her without what? 
So that woman is devoted to her husband. Kwa hivyo huyo mwanamke amejiachilia ama amejipeana kwa mume wake. In in a sense of vizuri. Eh mudhuri wake amwihokete atetigirio na ki. Hallelujah. Amen. Mudhuri we ni amwihokete na mudhuri na mudhuri usio dage tuweka mukia. Hallelujah. Amen. Dage thina Go back to the to the to the nini that we had. Thank you very much. You are man of God. Kai mutumia gadha ehi nyakuwa ne kai. Na kwa ni mwana mke ambaye yako na wa ukweli ni ngumu kupandikana. Ni mukarwa thogora wake. Ni kwa sababu ya kai yake. Okinita to higa to agoro. Ni ni zaidi ya dhahabu. Hallelujah. Amen. Aero sio gigirete mahiga ma agoro. Ambia huyo mwingine wewe ni Na dhahabu utolewa chini. Hello. Amen. So if you are a woman. Na kama wewe ni mwanamke. Don't be too easy for a man to find you. Usikuwe mrahisi sana kupatikana kwa mwanamke. Na kama uko hapa na hujaoreka. And if you are here and you're not married. It is not a must you honor the first date and the second date. Sio lazima so that money you are busy. Sio lazima uonekane kwa date ya kwanza na ya pili. Don't be too available. Usipatikane ovi ovio. Ah, tell your neighbor don't be too available. Usipatikane ovi ovio. The more you are available, the cheaper you are. Kwa haraka unapatikana hivyo ndivyo hata wewe bei yako iko chini. Hallelujah. Amen. How much is 1 liter of water? How much is 20 liters of water, mtungi? 10 bob. How much is 1 liter of petrol? 217 How many jerry cans? 200 divided by 10 20 jerry cans. 1 liter liter moja of petrol ya mafuta is equal to 20 jerry cans. Bei yake ni kama vibuyu 20 of water ya maji. So for you to get one liter of petrol. Kwa hivyo ili upate lita moja ya mafuta. You must have labored for 20 jerry cans. Lazima ukue umegaramika kwa vibuyu 20. Do you know why? Kwa nini? It is hard to fight petrol. Kwa sababu ni ngumu kupata yale mafuta. It is hard. Ni ngumu. Bwana sio sana. Amen. So women know the best touch wanawake wanajua mahali pa kuguza bwana sio sana amen no you are no you are sheep jua maumbile yako and know the kind of clothes that you be wearing na ujue zile nguo unafaa kuvaa haleluya amen don't go to trm as if you are coming to the church usiende trm kana kwamba unakuja kwa ibada Tayo muhulie na roho weke tayo kia girudi ati nimejazwa na roho umevaa nguo ya gini ndio ta kiveti hebu nipe kiveti moja Nipe tu kibeti moja bring that one You know the problem the reason why our women are not being married Unajua kwa nini wanawake wetu hawajaolewa Hadi na getepe Hallelujah Ne Na leme na calibration ni kanini Hiyo ni wakati yako na kareve kadogo My friend you are too fast Mhm enda kwa kio mhm jiangalie vizuri kwa kakio mhm jitazame vizuri zuguka ukijiangalia mhm obi mwega wa gai mhm we shokerie gather and you tell yourself i'm fear free and wonder free ujiangalie vizuri na ujiambia kwamba umeumbika kwa njia ya maajabu haleluya amen then weka kasimu pale mbele mhm weka video jichukue ukikatuo Na hakuna msichana anaitaga wa tena tani hivi kama mwanaume. Ukiabua yale za wetu tani. Lakini wewe umeenda hivi. Hii. Even the married women. Hata wanawake ambao wameolewa. Your husband want to feel your touch. Mume wako anataka kusikia mguzo wako. Hallelujah. Amen. You, the, the problem that we have in the marriages. Shida ambayo tuko nayo katika ndoa. Our marriages has become ghettoized. Ndoa zetu zina zime zinakaa ghettoized. Do you know how? Unajua aje. 
I married a girl. Alioa msichana. Who was catwalking. Ambaye alikuwa na catwalk. A very good girl. Msichana mzuri sana. Kameweka mpaka foundation. Yaani akasichana kalikuwa kazuri. Mhm. Lakini kufika kwa nyumba unajua kugedhorai unaweza nunua nyanya ukifika kwa nyumba ni madizi. Haleluya. Amen. Na hivyo divya wanawake wamekuwa kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Ulinunua, ulienda gedhorai ukapewa discipline mzuri sana. Lakini kile umewekewa kwa chodo, ukienda kufugua, alafu etano kwa mwetoro. Hela ndugu wenu. Haleluya. Amen. Even in your house you need a good discipline. Hata kwa nyumba yako unahitaji kuwa mzuri. When your husband start losing your touch. Wakati mume wako anaanza kupoteza ule mguzo wako. Ask yourself what am I losing? Jiulize ni nini unapoteza? Because when men stop seeing what they desire to see. Kwa sababu they look for it outside. Kwa sababu mwanaume akikosa akiacha kuona kile ambacho alikuwa anaona atakitafuta kule nje. Hallelujah. Amen. And men li- like to live a place where there is peace. Na wanaume wanapenda kuishi mahali kuna amani. Bwana sio sana. Amen. So kama kitu ya kwanza ya kuuliza bwanako akikuja kwa nyumba, ni nini umekuja nayo? You are not a woman of grace. Wewe si mwanamke wa neema. Wewe mtumia wa kebebe. Wewe ni mwanamke hivi hivi. Haleluya. Amen. Ah ah, wa kebebe. Wa kebebe. Yes. Hmm? Are you getting me? Amen. Na vile nasema kwamba afadhali kukae juu ya nyumba mm-hmm. kuliko kuishi na mwanamke kama huyo. Amen. May that woman not be your, be your portion in the name of Jesus. Na huyo mwanamke asiwe ni wewe. May you start becoming a woman of wealth. Na ukaanze kuwa mwanamke ambaye ana woman of dignity. Mwanamke ambao uko na heshima. A woman of purpose. Mwanamke ako na kusudi. Stephen ni nyima base kabisa. Kaa nayo. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to give you some characteristics of this woman. Nataka kukuwapatia tabia za huyu mwanamke. A woman of grace. Mwanamke ambaye ni wa neema is an international woman. Ni mwanamke wa kimataifa. I thought I would hear an amen from that. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor you are not local. Wewe si wa hapa tu. Tell your neighbor you are not local. Wewe si wa hapa mjini. It is men not women. Mm-hmm. All throughout her introduction in Proverbs 31:10 Kila kutoka kwa medhali 31:10 One of the greatest thing that starts out Ile kitu ambayo ni ya muhimu ambayo imejitokeza pale is about this woman who is very international ni ya huyu mwanamke ambaye ni wa kimataifa and he is intentional na ni ni wa kujitakia ama kujitolea haleluya amen she is so deliberate yeye ni wa ni wa kujitolea ama ni wa kuiruta anafanya vitu kwa kukusudia kwa kujitolea na moyo wake. Haleluya. Amen. She is a woman with an intention. Ni mwanamke ambaye ako na kusudi. Haleluya. Amen. What she what she has seen kile ambacho ameona na kile anataka and what she wants she is very intentional. Ako na ako na ile yani anafuatilia. Haleluya. Amen. All the strength of men that is are in the world. Ile nguvu yote ya mwanaume ambayo yuko ulimwenguni. All of them combined. Yote ikishikanishwa. Is not equal one woman. Haitoshani na mwanamke mmoja. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes a woman. Inachu, ina ina hitajika mwanamke to bring down a strong man. Ina ina inatumika mwanamke kuweka chini mwanamume ambaye yako na nguvu. Haleluya. Amen. A woman of grace. Mwanamke wa neema. Is intentional in everything that is doing. Anajitolea kwa kila kitu ambacho anataka. He is not emotional. Yeye ni wa ni wa The problem that we have in families. Shida ambayo tuko nayo kwa familia. We are bringing emotions. Tunaleta mahitaji. A woman should be intentional. Mwanamke anafaa kufuatilia. Haleluya. Amen. And those who are not married listen to me. Na wale Oh, the man that you want mwanamume ambaye unataka ule jamaa ambaye unaona kama diye mzuri mm-hmm. haleluya amen ukiona mtu kama 
kama okidee huu ndiye jamaa nataka let me give you the tactics wacha nikupatie siri haleluya amen because si rahisi kwa mwanamke kutogoza mwanaume be very intentional lazima ukue unajua kile unafanya haleluya amen jua mahali anapitianga mhm upitiange hapa ukirudi mhm haleluya amen jua anaendaga kazi saa gapi hiyo mm-hmm. sana anaendaga kazi tumia hiyo saa kuendaga mkate asubuhi ndio mnapatana Be the first image yake kuona. Kuwa sura ya kwanza kuonekana na yeye. Are you getting me? Amen. Be very intentional. Kuwa kuwa intentional sana. Wakati nilikuwa natumangwa niliacha kutumwa wakati nilikuwa natumangwa mkate hapo chini. Mhm. Uh, I was so offended by women. Alikuwa na kwazo sana na wanawake. Kile tunatikia hiku. Mhm. Kisana na kisana. Kina stalking igoro mtoe. Ameva stalking juu. Na kina kina night dress where Steve wear. Na kina night dress. Na amevalia night dress. Na imagine. Kimetokezea kimedea sukari na mkate na kina ginyamalote roha. Bwana sio sana. Akioge semoni nao rosi ni nao ure. Wengine ukikutana na wao asubuhi unaweza toroka. Nakumbuka wenye wa kitabu tulisomanga kitabu ya Fatuma na Jini. Yaani mwanamke jini anakaa jini. Kwa sababu ile sura unapata na ile utaona saa nyingine ni tofauti. I believe mwanamke akitoka hata kama ni sukari anaendea hapo nje, anafaa kujiangalia vizuri. Haleluya. Anaenda akiwa display. Bwana sio sana. Mwanamke akosa akika spray, kionuka kama kutama ako kama kana basi nini. Si unukange ya remis. Haleluya. Amen. Wengine wanajipaka mafuta ya ngombe. Mm-hmm. Ah, toka mkaliko ka kwa ngombe huko kusia toka. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Hata kama ananyonyesha, huwezi sikia akinuka maziwa. Because she's a woman of substance. Kwa sababu ni mwanamke ambaye anajijua. She is intentional. Ni mwanamke ambaye anajua. And if you are a woman here. Na kama wewe ni mwanamke hapa. Remove all emotions even in your marriage. Ondoa hisia zako hata kwa ndoa. Hallelujah. Amen. Mwanamke akiona message kwa mkwa bwana yake. Mm-hmm. Na ni msichana ameadika. Tika kwenye tataka kobeka mwanao huo. Wacha kukasirika wakati unaona ile message. Wete ile gome yoyoke nyumba. Unangojea hiyo shetani ingie kwa nyumba. Relax. Mm, tulia. Pikie jamaa chakula. Men need peace. Mpikie mpikie vizuri. Hello. Hello. Mpikie vizuri. Amen. Wacha apate amani. Mhm. Hata hiyo message usimuulize leo. Mhm. Hello? Hello. Bwana sio sana. Look at time wakati hiyo story imeisha kama wiki moja after. Bwana sio sana. And handle it with a lot of care. Bwana sio sana. Or else when you ask the same day, you can win two straps with a free offer. Usiulize wakati umeipata ngojea usitandikwe. Buy one get three for free. Mhm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Because men needs women who are wise mwanaume anapenda mwanamke ambaye ako na hekima ndamfukuza huko Steve muende kabisa wachana na hizo machine kabisa wacha ikae hivyo reason to me msikiliza i love delila napenda delila in the bible yule wa biblia that woman huyo mwanamke if by mistake akinipata heaven kama kwa bahati mbaya atampata mbinguni mtamfanya hivi mm-hmm. you know delila unajua delila all the philistines wa filisti wote tried to encounter samson walijaribu kumkamata samsoni but no man lakini hakuna mwanaume could confront Samson. Ambaye angeweza kupatana na majeshi yeye. walikuwa wa, wamebeba mishale na mabuduki. Mm-hmm. Wanaenda kutafuta mwanamume mgapi? Moja. Moja. Mm-hmm. Samson akiapia hivi. Wote wanatoroka. Guess what? Mm-hmm. One three queen. Msichana mmoja mrembo. One. Moja. One. Mm-hmm. One woman. 
Who was intentional? Who was on a mission? She knew what to do and when to do it. Alikuwa anajua cha kufanya na wakati wa kukifanya. Mtumio ria moge ni amenyaga hali ya kuhutia mudhuri wake. Mwanamke aliye na hekima anajua mahali pa kuguza mwanamume wake. Haleluya. Amen. Najua wanawake wake wanasamaka mimi sielewaki bwanangu. Kwa sababu hamujui mahali ya kuguza mume wako. Let me show you where to touch your husband. Wacha niwaonyeshe mahali utaguza. Women do you want to know where you you should touch your husband je mnataka kujua mnafaa so that everything he can say yes sir ili kila wakati anasema ndio madam how many not want to know that i hope you want to know right mm-hmm. because you want to, c- to come over us hallelujah amen let me show you where to touch your wife wacha nikuonyeshe mahali pa kuguza what you did to him kile ambacho unampatia akaacha wasichana wengine wote akakuja kwako mm-hmm. na aka kuchukua akakupeleka kwake mm-hmm. hali ya wamo hutilia hende hiyo ndio hutilia ho hali ya ho mahali ulimguza akakuchukua akakupeleka kwake enda uguze hapo leo haleluya amen i remember mimi ningefika saa tisa usiku mm-hmm. saa nane usiku i could risk my life because of a woman haleluya Okay don't get me get, get this one very right way. In our days in school. Wakati wa ambao alikuwa shule. You know zile chama ma? Mhm. You remember those days? Kalongolongo. Nani hajafanya chama ma? You remember those days? Mhm. I saw a good girl. Aliona msichana mzuri. And I started following her. Na akaanza kumfuata. Na Alice Peps was here. Mhm. Peps kale kasiana pepsi alikuwa ameona na kale nilikuwa nimeona ni wa wa mahali moja now this was the problem na shida ilikuwa hii ni kwao ni bali sana mm-hmm. so tulikuwa sana tunawazidikiza tunawapeleka mpaka kwao na tunasimama hapo kwao kwa geti mpaka saa tatu. now hiyo sio shida when we had girls we were lions wakati walikuwa na wasichana walikuwa kama simba lakini tukirudi tutiarana geria hatuko tunaongeleshana kama unaweza cheza na mtu usiwahi cheza na mwanaume akiwa na msichana haleluya because the strength of a man is in a woman kwa sababu nguvu ya mwanamume iko ndani ya mwanamke. Hallelujah. Amen. So be intentional. Delilah was so intentional. Delila alijua cha kufanya. And the guy was so strong. Na ule mwanamume alikuwa na nguvu. And so anointed. How many know Samson was anointed? Na alikuwa amepakwa sana. The Bible says ha huge muguza hakuguzwa ha, 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 na 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 magadhi. Mm, hakuwai Maisha yake yote. Hakuwai nyolewa. Lakini mm-hmm. Biblia inasema kwamba huyo jamaa alikuwa amepakwa mafuta vizuri. Mm-hmm. Lakini na upako wake wote. Mm-hmm. Aliagushwa na nani? Na Delila. Na Enjo. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Number 2, I'll give you just five because of time. Mm-hmm. Number 2. Her heart is pure moyo wake ni msafi oh she is pure in heart kama ndani yake moyo wake ni msafi hallelujah amen one of the things that has made families to go down kile ambacho kimefanya familia zivunjike is because of hypocrisy ni kwa sababu ya unafiki let me tell you this mm-hmm. it is very easy ni rahisi sana for a woman to forgive mwanamke kusamehe especially his husband mm-hmm. but it's not very easy for a woman to forget lakini sio rahisi sana mwanamke kusahau they, It is very easy. Ni rahisi sana. For a woman to forgive any sin can be forgiven by a woman. Ni rahisi sana asamehe dhambi yoyote ama makosa yote. Hallelujah. Amen. But the funny thing they don't forget. Lakini kitu cha kushangaza hawasahau. If you want to know. Ukitaka kujua. Give let the, the husband of Phyllis give her 10,000 today. Mm-hmm. Then after two days. Baada ya siku mbili. Ask Phyllis muulize unyagudhie mhm ni nini unaweza kumbuka bwana kwa sababu kufanyia mhm 
Do you know what Phineas will tell you? She not remember the 10,000. The 10,000. Atakwabia two or three and nichapa makofi gapi. Why do you forget money that too easily, especially our money? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. It is very easy for a woman to forgive. But whatever you do later, Lakini kile ambacho unafanya baadaye, he uses the former offense that he forgave you anacho, anatumia makosa ambayo alikusamehe as a defense. Ya kujikinga. Hallelujah. Amen. Learn to be a pure-hearted woman. Jifunze kuwa mwanamke ambaye yako na roho safi ama moyo safi. Hallelujah. Amen. What makes men ah uh, wacheni nimwambie hakuna mwanaume ambaye ni stije. Hakuna inaligana nani anapea pesa. Hallelujah. Huyo jamaa wako na samanga hatoagi pesa kuna mahali anatoaga. Bana <laughs> sana. No man is stingy. Hakuna mwanaume ambaye ni ni mwanaume akifurahi hakuna kitu hawezi toa. Bana mm-hmm. sana. Na siri ya mwanamke yote inafaa kuwa kusoma mahali ya kuguza mwanamke a mwanaume anafurahi. Bana sana. Siri ya mwanaume ni kufurahishwa. Mufurahishe utatoa kila kitu. Atakwambia mahali nguvu zake ziko. Hello? Hello. Utakuja niambia sijui bwanangu sijui ana nguvu. Nguvu za nini zime zimepotea? Haziko. Hakuna kazi inafanyika huko. Enda uone Delida. Aliuliza Samson. Nguvu zako zinakuaga wapi? Hallelujah. Aka mdaganya mara ya kwanza, ya pili, mara ya tatu, aka ikana nwa siyero. Aki olio, guvu zako, sinakuwa gawapi. Olio, ateke. Huh? Ateke. Oh, hinya, hi, hi, hinya. <laughs> Aki mwane leri ya mutu. Ukiona kwako, guvu zimeisha. <laughs> to me at the art of the rider, and it will work for you. Amen. Amen. Don't start with your principles in the family. Men are kings. Usikae tu na mawazo yako wanaume ni wafalme. Men are kings. Wanaume ni wafalme. And they want women na wanataka wanawake who can submit, who can submit to them. Ambao watanyenyekea chini yao. Hallelujah. Amen. And you don't go hauendagi kifua mbele to a king kwa mfalme unataka ukinyenyekea na siri moja ya mwanamke ni kuwa na moyo safi na kunyenyekea ask Esther in the bible she will tell you hallelujah the reason why that family is the way that he is sababu ambayo hiyo familia iko jinsi ambavyo is because wewe umezoea kujibu mume wako hallelujah amen kama uko hapa na unisikie vizuri kama uko hapa na huwa unajibu rudere kwa mume wako wewe ni mwanamke mjinga you can't keep a family hawezi weka familia haleluya amen it there is no wisdom hakuna hekima ya kujibishana na mume wako mm-hmm. the wisdom of a woman hekima ya mwanamke akisema goko dikwe do no 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 nyamaza akisema huku hataki hivi na hivi akimaliza mwambie nimesikia mume wangu tutabadilisha Sometimes you may be right. Wakati mwingine unaweza kuwa unasema kweli. But because your mouth became bigger. Lakini kwa sababu kinywa chako kilifunguka. Kilifunguka sana. You are not hard. Haukusikika. And you want to slaps. Na utapatana na makofi mawili. Bwana sasa sana. Amen. A wise woman. Mwanamke mwenye hekima has more ears than mouth. Ana masikio mengi kuliko mdomo. Hallelujah. Amen. She reasons and watches. Anasikiliza na kuangalia. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Sikiza mume wako sana mm. kabla uongee. Mm. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Sikiza mume wako sana kabla uongee. Don't stop. 
it is good to discuss. Ni vizuri kujadiliana. But tigago challenge ga mudhuri waku na weakness yake. Wacha kumchallenge na udhaifu wake. Wacha kutumia udhaifu wake. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Kwa sababu hana wacha kumdharau kwa sababu ya hiyo. Mhm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Modrome M yoyokeda. Mwanaume ana uhai tisa. Una anaweza kuwa leo hafanyi. Mhm. Lakini kesho ni mfalme. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. So become a woman who is who has a pure heart. Kuwa mwanamke ambaye yako na moyo safi. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Number 3. Ya tatu. She is trustworthy. Anaaminika. Idio hakuna kwa nyumba. Mhm. Haleluya. Hata kwa wangu karibu ni 50-50. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Ni vigumu sana uache pesa upate venye zilikuwa kwa nyumba. Na zile pesa tuna tunachaka kwa mvuko mkiosha guo mnapelekaga wapi? Eh? Mnaanika inapotea na nini na kaba? Haleluya. Amen. That woman should be trustworthy. Proverbs 21 verses 11. Huyo mwanamke anafaa kuaminika. She kuaminika. should be trustworthy. Anafaa kuaminika. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you this. Wacha nikwambie hivi. Lose everything. Poteza kila kitu. But never lose trust. Lakini usipoteze kuaminika kwako. Hello. Amen. Never lose trust of your husband. Usipoteze imani na mume wako. Hallelujah. Amen. If you lose trust. Ukipoteza ile imani. From a man. Kutoka kwa mwanamke. It will be very hard to get it back. Itakuwa ngumu sana kuirudi tena. Amen. Amen. Ni vigumu sana mm-hmm. ukipoteza trust ya mwanaume kuipokea tena. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know it is evil. Unajua ni vibaya. For men, for women kwa wanawake who are married. Ambao wameolewa to date. Leo. Oh. To date. Ni vibaya kwa wanawake ambao wameolewa kuwa na Iyo. Are you getting me? Amen. Do whatever you are doing. Fanya kile kitu ambacho unafanya. But know that. Lakini ujua. All other things a man can forgive. Mambo yote mwanamume anaweza kusamehe. Lakini hiyo mm-hmm. anaweza kuchukia nayo kabisa. Mm. Let me show you a sign ya kwamba mm. mume wako alikosa trust na wewe. After all, mkifanya mm. chochote kwa nyumba. Baada ya yote. Ukifanya kila kitu mnafanya anakuabianga neno moja. Dakika tode la siana. Wacha tutafutie watoto. That means what has joined you is no longer you again. Kwa hivyo kile ambacho kimeunganisha sio wewe tena. What has joined you is kile kimeunganisha ni watoto. Children. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Never allow man to lose trust on you Usiwahi kubali mwanamume apoteze imani na wewe The time that you lose your family Wakati utapoteza imani yako Is the time that you lose the trust of your husband Wakati utapoteza imani na mume wako I know men goes out Najua wanaume huwa wanatoka nje And they are forgiven easily Na wanasamehewa virahisi I know most of us Najua wengi wetu that uh, our husband sometimes God forbid they have done so Wana wanaume wetu pengine wamefanya hivyo I think 80% there. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. 80% of men wengi wa wanaume wetu who are married. Ambao wameolewa. Have ever drank from another sister. Wameshawaifanya hivyo. I am in the 20. Mhm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to tell you this. Nataka kuambia hivi. That ya kwamba when a man goes out Wak- and you realize you can discuss and forgive wakati mwanaume atatoka nje na ujue mnaweza ongelelea na isamehe but when a woman goes out lakini wakati mwanaume even if your husband atakwambia amekusamehe mm-hmm. anaachaga na hicho kitu kwa moyo na hakitokangi mm-hmm. and that's where you start seeing that man vita ushida huyo kaka kan huyo kaka nyumba kabia kudakalala kogodhokira why kwa sababu kuna kitu alijua ambacho aliona this woman Oyo Never lose trust 
When you lose the trust of your husband, you lose your family. Hallelujah. Amen. A virtuous woman, a woman of grace, is a loving woman. Hallelujah. Amen. Mwanamke ambaye ni wanema ni mwanamke wa kupenda. Hallelujah. Amen. So love should be in the four part, not the rear part. Upendo unafaa kupewa ama kuwa kipaumbele. Everything that he's doing should be governed by love. Chochote ambacho anafanya kiandamane na upendo. Hallelujah. Amen. Anapenda mume wake. Mhm. Anapenda watoto wake mm-hmm. na anapenda nyumba yake. Mm-hmm. Bwana asante sana. Amen. Kuna watu wako hapa saa hii. Napenda mume wangu lakini hiyo lakini inaonyesha haumpendi. Bwana asante sana. Amen. Upendo unafaa kutoka kwa moyo wako. Hallelujah. Love should come out of the, out of the heart. Wacha itoke na huko ndani. Mhm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Yaani nikulikiwe domodo wadau wanaki akaiwa coin ukatene. Kuna upendo unaweza penda nao mwanaume anasikia kukuja nyumbani mapema. Haleluya. Amen. Kile ndo kiho. Kiupendo kiko hapo. Amen. Mhm. Tena sio kiwe ndo kiho. Hebu uliza ambia huyo mwingine kiupendo tu kiko hapo. Kiho modu edago agadhidi moko. Kiambacho ukimpenda tu na dhidhi moko. Ukitumaga uona ajamu ukahura honi fara. Inafanya ukiona ajamu unaanza tu kupiga honi. Nigeza uinoki okedo. Ili ukiakimbie mapema. Haleluya. Amen. Hata wanaume tunapenda kupendwa. Mhm. Bwana msi sana. Amen. Nifanyie vitu za kunionyesha unanipenda. Mhm. Haleluya. Amen. Na kama wewe uko hapa na umeolewa. Mm-hmm. Jua vyenye ya kupembeleza mume wako kwa upendo. Haleluya. Amen. Wanaume wanapenda kupembelezwa sana. Hello. Sometimes yakikuja kwa nyumba. Ukiona ameenda bedroom, gwa mugogo abia komodho wako ya remeda takudho wa mugogo. Mudho wewega, omumo ena maguto momo ena maguto momo ena maguta. Yego gaba. Ah. Oh. Oya moa ni yetu. Anasema mwanaume akiingia kwa nyumba, akiingia kwa bedroom akilala mkunakune, mkunakune mgongo mpaka usikie ametoa hiyo sauti. Nililia mwisho wadhabitie mudhuri wa kumagoro. Ni mara ya ngapi eh mara ya mwisho ulimwosha miguu? Ehe, mudhuri wadhabitie mudhuri wa kumagoro mwako huyo. Mtu ambaye ameosha mume wake mguu wakaua ile mkono juu. Naigana. Mmoja. Omoe. Wawili. Direkta kwa dhabio leni. Haleluya. Galitaremu sada dhabio ni Jesu. Haleluya. Amen. Nini mimi nikitaka do you know kitu moja wanaume hajui kuoga vizuri. Sana sana hajizaki kuoga wanasahau hapa na hapa katikati ya mgogo. Wanaweza sana. Sometimes yakienda kwa bavu ona eri tasia kudhii bafu kumuda yeye muoshe vizuri mukumude mugogo wega msugue bwana yabia weko haleluya amen chukua tu mafuta chukua tu mafuta abia komo moyo oguo huko siero ini huko magoro ini hmm kule ya mati na makio ya jipsa mgoko huu eh unamwosha miguu vizuri una massage una mpaka tu mafuta mena kevin kule mati na huko makio ya moko na igoro huo wakati wameshinda wakifanya kazi unaenda unamnyosha vizuri na tu mafuta jabe yake ukira rosini huyo mwanamume akiamka asubuhi yokira gaihule tone roho mudhuri wa gai anaamka akiwa amejazwa haleluya amen ndo nemo yetu wega kwa sababu amemasajiwa vizuri haleluya amen mwanamke mzuri mhm nio iko gani ya wedo mwanamke mzuri anajua kukusanya upendo to love mhm for gifts upendo wa kweli unasamehe ndamo heide 
Nilimsamehe lakini. Haleluya. Amen. Next one. A woman of wealth. Mwanamke wa 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 neema. A woman of grace. Mwanamke wa neema is hard working. Ni mwanamke ambaye yuko na bidii. Haleluya. Amen. He is she is a hard working woman. Yeye ni mwanamke ambaye yuko na bidii. Proverb 31 verses 13. Listen to this. Medhali 31:13. Men wanaume hates lazy women. Wanachukia wanawake ambao ni wavivu. Men hates and productive women. Wanachukia wanawake ambao hawazai ama hawana faida. Hallelujah. Amen. Every woman here and listen to me because hii ndio nataka kumaliza nayo. Kila mwanamke hapa you should now start being hard working. Lazima uanze kutoka sasa kuwa na bidii. Hallelujah. Amen. Na wewe kama umeolewa, mm-hmm. wacha kunona kunona kama buzi. Mhm. Ginya doho taka kuega rura. Mhm. Unakula hawezi hata kujipendua. Ni makosa sana. Mm-hmm. Na wewe ni mwanamke. Mhm. Yaani ginya wewe ogira kedo dukaini. Hata ukiendea kitu kwa duka unasikia Kama wewe ni mwanamke na ukikalia kiti hivi mpaka kikombe kikiwa kado ya meza pale unaitaka mtoto wako akuletee wewe ni mwanaume ovyo mwanamke mvivu tena utidoge tena kapi unashinda ukitana kapi ye mmm ako kapi uko wapi tena kikombe hiki na kikombe kile meza hiki kuja nipatilizie hiki kombe na iko tu hapo dogi hata ko ina mogu kwa sababu hawezi kuinama ujichukulie tadoda ina inyamo idatu hana tifu kwa sababu umenona tumbo iko hivyo Hello. Hello. Men love hard working women. Wanaume wanapenda wanawake wenye bidii. Hallelujah. Amen. A woman ought to be hard working always Mwana and not fail. Anafaa kuwa na bidii kila wakati bila kuacha. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Ni vibaya sana hata kama bwanako anaendaka 5 kuamka 5. Kama bwanako anaendaka 5 amka 4 umtayarishe. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Make sure you are the person who told your wife your husband goodbye akienda kazini Hakiki. and never mm. usizoee hivyo mm. let it be let it not be a routine but as something that you does every now and then Wacha liwe ni kitu ya kufanya kila wakati Hallelujah Amen Kuwa Kuwa wewe die unaambia mume wako bye akitoka kwa mrango Amen Hallelujah be that person kuwa huyo mtu akienda usirare enda uoshe vyombo enda upange nyumba weka nyumba yako ikiwa safi that is the first priority hiyo ndio kazi ya kwanza hallelujah amen if you are here kama uko hapa na ulitoka kwa nyumba mm-hmm. ukaacha kitada hujatandika mm-hmm. na vyombo ziko kwa sink mm-hmm. Baka sufuria ya juzi ya ugali ulikuwa umeweka maji. Kuna wanawake ambao they are very lazy. Kuna wanawake ambao ni wavivu sana. Hata wakienda bedroom orele marago. Kitanda wanatandika na miguu. Maraga na magoro. Imagine. What kind of a woman are you? Wewe ni mwanamke wa aina gani? Angalia na ibamulie kani atadekile. Wala wanyana cheka hakutadika. Na wanda anatadika ngo kwa sababu hakutadika. Hello. Hello. I believe Nina a amini. woman of grace. Mwanamke wa neema. Is a woman who is hard working. Ni mwanamke ambaye ako na bidii. Keep your house in order. Weka nyumba yako kwa njia ambayo inafaa. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Badilisha curtains si lazima uagube badilisha curtains. Mm. Zikine ziko mpaka tangu uhamie hiyo nyumba. Curtain hiyo ndio yangu sio guo. Vile tu ni cobwebs. Mm. Okay, Na kanitha. Na ukimuona kwa kanisa. Eh, Akita waja. Na kate ni kwa tu vile alihamia nyumba. Ah na waja kehe. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Wacha usafi uanzie kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Si mwanaume akikuja anapata poti kwa mlango. Mm-hmm. 
Hata kama kanyumba kako ni kadogo, wacha kawe kasafi. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A wise woman. Mwanamke mwenye hekima. Anaibaga ananunua ile kitabu ya recipe. Anatafuta vitu za kupika. No uruge getheri. No ule wa ruga getheri. Unaweza pika getheri lakini jinsi umeipika. Jitirasa magetheri. Haionji getheri. Hello. Hello. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Mwanamke ambaye is a woman of grace. Mm-hmm. Is a woman who knows. Mwanamke wa neema ni mwanamke ambaye anajua that iliyotoge theri. Ni mwanamke ambaye anajua chakula sio getheri tu. Obia naiba iliyotoge theri. Chakula sio getheri tu. Bwana sana. Amen. Abia huyo naiba iliyotoge theri. Chakula sio getheri tu. Mwambie tena. Mhm. Mwambie tena. Chakula sio getheri. Ah, mwambie tena. Chakula sio getheri tu. Eh? Eh. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Iliyoto Chakula Sometimes. Mhm. Piga kamchere kazuri na na, wa, na wanawake wa kikuyu mwache kutupikia mchere jeli. Mhm. Sijui hiyo hiyo formula mlitoa wapi? Starch plus starch is starch. Mhm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Ni mchere imewekwa cabbage na waru. Imewekwa waru mm-hmm. na kwina githeri kira gekiro hau mm-hmm. na kwina kwina jahi koko letwa gasia thate sie kiro hau. Mchele imepikwa na githeri na cabbage na waru na njahe za juzi zimechanganyishwa. No ada this is a bedroom zinapasukaga. Sababu hewa inajaa huko. Ku. Pika chakula mzuri kwa mume wako. Mm-hmm. Haleluya. Amen. Pika chakula mzuri kwa mume wako. Pia kama umeoreka, mm-hmm. hakikisha mm-hmm. you are the one who serves your husband. Mm-hmm. I say again, kama wewe umeoreka, mm-hmm. hakikisha mm-hmm. ni wewe una serve mume wako. Haleluya. Amen. Never allow any other person to feed your husband. Usikubali mtu mwingine kulisha mume wako. Sometimes hata kama ni kwa hoteli, mm. ukiletewa chakula zako, pea mume wako kwanza, asiletewe na huyo msichana. Kwa sababu mwanamke akiletewa hii chakula, anaangalia ga ile chakula ilikuwa imeleta chakula. Haleluya. Utaona ameletewa chakula wapi? Hapa. Na naona yenye imeleta ni hata angalia hii chakula atangalia gani? Hello. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Pikia mme wako chakula mzuri. Serve your husband well. Lisha mume wako vizuri. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who knows. Wale ambao wanajua. That stomach is a doorway to the heart of a man. Ya kwamba Ukitaka mwanaume kiingilio cha mwanaume Ukitaka mwanaume mm-hmm. mwanzie na chakula Amen Haleluya Amen Ukishibisha tubo ya mwanaume mm-hmm. umewini moyo wake mm-hmm. Most of us wengi wetu wengi wengi wetu mm-hmm. wengi wetu tulirishwa na tuka tukafunkiwa mahali ya ya chakula Wengi wetu tuliwekwa box na chakula Haleluya Tulienda mahali tukakula Tukakula Ndio hiyo sisi tukajipata tuko huko Haleluya Kama ni kamchere Si upige kamchere kazuri na kitoweo tofauti kuliko ya jana Hili sio the normal sera wa, wa posho Kila wakati ni mchele na maragwe Mwana sana Amen Si ubadilishe nini Neno Mchuzi Mwana sana Mchele inaweza kuwa ile ile ni sawa sawa. Lakini mchuzi inafanya nini? Inabadilishwa. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Angalia naiba muuliza kama umeolewa. Muuliza umeolewa? Umeolewa. Mwambie chakula. Chakula. Hata kama ni mchere. Mhm. Badilisha. Badilisha mchuzi. Mm. Haleluya. Amen. Mwambie tena mchuzi. Mchuzi. Mwambie mambo ya msalaba wa Yesu. Mambo ya msalaba wa Yesu. Na goligodha. Na goligodha. Tuiache kwa kanisa. Tuiache kwa kanisa. Haleluya. 
Spice up your marriage. Hello? Amen. You spice up your marriage. Bwana sio sana. And it is not evil. Na sio vibaya. Bwana sio sana. Amen. The problem that we have today. Shida ambayo tuko nayo siku ya leo. We are so holy. Tuko watakatifu sana. Hata tuki tukienda kulala. Ni msalaba wa Yesu. Oh yes you got to go. Yes you got to go da lilia. Period. Mchana ni ile ile lakini unaweza badilisha mchuzi. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Mchuzi ni mingi. Kuna stew ya nyama, kuna stew ya minji. Eh? Minji. Ya minji, si ni kweli? Mm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Abia naiba kama uko na nyumba nzuri kuna kuna stew ya bafu kuna stew ya ya kitchen kuna stew ya garine yani stew ni mingi Bwana sio sana Tunashikana Stew ni mingi Stew ni mingi Stew ni Na mchele ni ile ile mm. Sawa sawa mm. Lakini kuna vyenye kuna stew zingine Ukiweka hiyo stew anauliza eh ona bi shauri Bwana sasa sana Amen Lakini hii sio the msera wa godha rukio boso msera wa godha rukio boso Jesu mwana rafa ine Haleluya tuko pamoja Amen Nilikuja kujua kitu hii acha nimalize na hii Niko na mambo mengi sana hapa Nilikuja kujua hii ya wanawake Mwanaume akiona mwanamke anapata pesa zake wanamheshimu. And that is why some of men are not secure when you have money because he knows your money can do exploits. Kwa sababu mwanamke anaweza kuwa anaweka 20 bob every day anunue kiti kwa nyumba. Hallelujah. Ukiona mwanamke ana chiwagwa 500 kwa nyumba, kazi yake ni chips na madazi, huyo ni mwanamke kihagara. Is a woman who cannot go anywhere. Mwanamke bure. Mwanamke bure kabisa. Mm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Mwanamke ni kuachiwa 500, anaweka bili anatumia 300. Haleluya. Amen. To the stage men. Bwanako akikuambia muende shopping, hakikisha umempeleka TRM kwenye bei ni expensive. Haleluya. Amen. Unahakikisha ile shopping mmefanya imeguza 5 au 10000 na nina vitu zenye umekuja nazo ni dogo. Haleluya. Akikupatia pesa wewe chukua bodai da githurai. Mwanamke ni akili. Ni akili. Mm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Mukienda shopping, enda quick mart, umwambie uko dio grocery na kuaga mzuri. Na unajua nyanya moja ni 25 na gedhrai ni 3 shilingi 5 Bwana sio sana Amen Let him feel the cost Wacha uh, uh, kuna wanaume wanapenda they, they, they pretend they are accountable wanataka kila shilingi ijulikane mahali inaenda Mm Umpeleke huko quick mart Sawa sawa Amen Mkienda kununua uga usimpeleke kwa hizi za nini za 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 za, za 120 yes. na 140 mm. Mtu anakuwa kafagara kali matuweite kana maga na matatu are you getting me lakini akikupatia pesa eda wapi githurai githurai mm-hmm. kuna uga mpaka ya 120 mhm si utakuwa me save mia mm. si umeweka mahali mm. mwanamke ni kujipa kujipanga haleluya amen bia niba mwanamke ni kujipanga mwanamke ni kujipanga haleluya amen Hakuna mwanamke anakosanga pesa hata kama wakati hana pesa lazima akuwe na pesa. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Na tunajua vizuri wanawake sio rahisi kutupea pesa. Mm-hmm. Kila tunafanyaga ni kukope kwa pesho. Kama mimi nakubushwa niko na 35000 za, za mtu fulani. Kila wakati kuna kitu kinafanywa ni kubuke mpaka naambiwa kama niko na ile 35000 yangu <laughs> nigefanya hii na hii. Sio hiyo hiyo ni kuna doro indirect. Haleluya. Mwanamke hakosagi kama 200 ameficha mahali. 
hata kama ni kwa wifu hakosagi amekaweka mahali haleluya uliza ni baka kuigete ha yako umeweka wapi na ni vibaya sana unaapiaga mume wako akupe shilingi tano za kiberiti na nilisema juzi you should be a woman who thinks mpaka you are sanitary towels unaambia bwanako nipe pesa za sanitary towels what is that jipange kuwa na kitu kwa mfuko bwana sio sana bia naiba kuwa na kitu kwa mfuko kuwa na kitu kwa mfuko nimaliza na hii kwa married men married women nilijua siri moja ya wanaume na nyinyi mtaoreka pia msikie hii siri ukitaka mwanamume wako aishi kwako hii ndio siri hii ndio siri andika mahali siri ya kuweka mwanaume Haleluya. Amen. Siri ya kuweka mwanaume ni hii. Mm-hmm. Nilikuja kujua mwanaume akikura asubuhi, mwanaume akifanya nini? Akikua asubuhi. Mwanaume akifanya nini? Akikua asubuhi. Akikura saa gapi? Akikuja asubuhi. Takikuja. Akikura asubuhi. Mwanaume akikula asubuhi. Faith nilikwambia kitu moja wakati tunahubiri nayo acha kusikiza mahubiri waambie venye tunasema utaisikiza online haleluya amen wanaume wanapenda kukura asubuhi na unahakikisha bwanako amefanya nini amekula ame kula shiba bwana sio sana amen mimi nikienda kazi asubuhi hmm. nikule chakula nishibe kabisa nitapata jaa saa kumi hivyo nikirudi nyumbani ni kweli ama ni uongo Haleluya. So kabla bwanako atoke asubuhi hakikisha amefanya nini? Amekula. Eh? Ameshiba. Ame? Shiba. Tunasikizana? Abia naiba hivyo. Unahakikisha amefanya nini? Ameshiba. Ame? Shiba. Haleluya. Amen. Hata kuna wenye hawakulagi asubuhi. Hakuna mwanaume anaweza kataa chakula asubuhi wanaume chakula eh chakula asubuhi eh bwana sio sana amen unahakikisha asubuhi kama anaendaga kama anaendaga 5:30 hakikisha umemwamsha by 5 that menes ni za chaku that menes ni za nini That menes ni za chakula. Ni wagapi bado wako kitchen? <laughs> ni wagapi bado tuko kwa kitchen? Tuko kwa kitchen. Kai kwani mmetoka kitchen? Tumeshatoka. Eh? Tumetoka. Oh, tumetoka. Mm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Wacha nikwambie. Mm. Kama bwanako atakula asubuhi, uhakikishe ameshiba. Huyo jamaa anaendaga na furaha. Kitabo saa yenye mapepa inaamukaga <laughs> jamaa asha pangwa na saa kumi ni kurudi anafanya nini anarudi hiyo ndio njia moja ya kumaliza wanaume nguvu akule chakula asubuhi ale eh pizza eh mpikie pizza asubuhi Haleluya. Hakikisha umeamuka mapema zaidi. Kwa sababu jioni jioni wanaume wanakuwa wamechoka sana. Si kweli? Kwa sababu tumepigana, tumepatana na Karebu, amenishika, amesijui amenitisha nini, dio huyo. Nimetoka hapo nimeenda sijui wapi. Sijui kuna mtu alikuwa na deni yake, sijui nini. Nikifika jioni, mwanaume jioni hatakage mastori mingi. Sasa asubuhi atana theni ono kana no Kabla hajaongeleshwa na nani ukana gadhani 
Unakuja na kasani kama. Haleluya. Amen. Muihorere. Unamwekea. Muihorere. Unamwekea. Muihorere. Mpakulie. Jabe oleke gwire. Huyo mwanaume wacha nikwambie. Ndile kiedo kege giona. Hakuna kitu kingine anaezaona. Eko lilikano kigoshokea rusini. Atakumbuka tu zile sifa za asubuhi. Hello. Hello. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Ero sio gemenyeria. Ambia huyo mwingine Zoea. Ambia menyeria. Zoea. Mudhuri waku ili yorusini. Mume wako chakula cha asubuhi. Haleluya. Amen. Wacha kabla aende kazini. Akuya amekula amefanya nini? Ameshiba. Ameshiba. Bwana mm. sana. Amen. Pasa naomi hujui pasa kitimo zile vitu anapatanaka nazo kwa barabara. Akienda hivi na gari. Mara anaenda na ibasa anapata anapatana na mwanamke, anamuhanda inspector wa polisi gari anamwambia haina inspection. Anamuhanda lakini akikumbuka asubuhi alikula vizuri anaona hii ni bure haleluya wa mama amen haleluya wa dada amen will we become women of substance tutakuwa wanawake ambao wanajitia will we become women who are hard working je tutakuwa wanawake ambao wanabidii wanamke ni kujituma mhm amen amen Don't be lazy. Wacha kuwa mvivu. Some men do not think. Help them to think. Wanawake wanaume wengine hawezi fikiria, wasaidie kufikiria. The ego of your husband inaweza kosa inaweza mzuria kwenda kutafuta kazi. Muulizie kazi kwa watu na huko. Amen. Hello. Hello. Bwana usiye sana. Amen. Mwanamke ni kujituma. Hata kama bwanako atakaye kufanya ufanye kazi, akitoka enda gedhorai. Wenda wapi? Kidhurai. Nunua nyanya kuja uza kwa proti yenu. Mm. Weke hiyo 200 wapi? Kwa mfuko. Na watu wetu ndio dogo weke. Ndio doweke pe. Hakuna kitu umefanya. Mwadhani ya gosho. Bwana asifiwe. Tusimame na miguu yetu. Amen. Nataka kumweka sana mkono ja. Mimi naombea wanawake wa hii kanisa. Naombea wanawake wa hii kanisa. I'm praying for the women of this church. That from today. Ya kwamba kutoka siku ya leo. We we'll see women buying their own cars. Tutaona wanawake wakijinunulia magari zao. I did not hear good amen. Sija Don't wait for your husband to buy you a good car. Usingoje mume wako akununulia gari nzuri. Amen. Amen. I have a lady. Kuna mwanamke. Who happens to be a friend of mine? ambaye ni rafiki yake But I want to tell you this Lakini nataka kuambia hivi Alijenga nyumba mm-hmm. ya gorofa 4 mm-hmm. bila mume wake kujua Mahali walikuwa wanaishi akafukuzwa So ikabidi watafute nyumba kwenye wataenda kukaa So akaambia bwana yake nimepata nyumba mahali Pazuri na kuna nyumba kubwa. Kubwa ni kwa ile nyumba alijenga. Haleluya. Kwa miaka miwili mwanaume alikuwa analipa nyumba ya bibi yake. Bana yake ni akili. Bana sio sana. Amen. It is not if your point of attraction is your body then you fail. Kama wewe unavutiwa ama unafikiria tu mambo ya mwili wako umeanguka. Nowadays men are out of short clothes. By the way hatuvutiwi na nguo fupi sana siku hizi. Mm-hmm. Siku hizi tunavutiwa na akili. akili. Tunataka watu ambao wako smart hapa. Mm-hmm. Bwana sio sana. Amen. Tuliona nguo fupi tukapoweka. So what is drawing us is the sharpness of a woman. Kile ambacho kinavutia ni akili. Haleluya. Amen. Na kuna wakati hiyo nyumba imefungwa mara mbili. Bwana sio sana. Akauliza mke wake sasa tutafanya nini? Namwambia sasa sijui uko na pesa ngapi? Nipe yenye uko nayo, niende nipebeleze agent tuone kama watafanya nini? Tufungulie. Kumbe anaenda kupebeleza agent <laughs> na yeye die. Agent. Die main Agent. Anaweka pesa kwa mfu? Kwa mfuko. Mwanamke ni 
Akili. Mwana mukia ni? Akili. Imodoshi mwana kasti ya sila kia mwono. Hawa watu huwa muna wana hawa fikiriza. You need to use your mind. Unaitaji kutumia akili zao. You need, unless we huna akili. Mwana kwa kikugonga, labde huna akili. Tumia akili. Cheza na akili yake. Mwana siyo sana. Mungu walimpea akili kutoka wakati mulikuwa kwa shaba ya Eden. Muka boga na saitu. Yeye bila kujua. Mwana siyo sana. Women knows what to do and when to do it. But whatever you know, what to do and how to do, do it in a positive way to develop your family. Hallelujah. Amen. I am praying for you that you become a woman of substance. That you become a woman of power. A woman who can gather. Who can go and buy a lot and build for the family. I want Abigail in the church. A woman who knows his husband is a foolish and goes to the king and begs the king. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you need to be better like Abigail. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Hello. Amen. You should know what to do. Amen. I finish with this. I want you to understand this one. That sin in this world entered through a woman. You get me? Mm -hmm. Sin entered through and salvation was also brought through a woman. Kupitia mwana mke. That is Mary. Ambaye ni Mariam. Hallelujah. Amen. Guess what? I'm trusting God. Ninamini mungu. And I know. Na ninajua. That the revival that is coming. Ya kwamba revival mbao inakuja. Uishu mbao inakuja. God will use women. Mungu watatumia wana wake. May you be found available. Na upatikana wakati une. Wait and see women performing miracles. Ngojea wana wana wake wakifanya miujiza. Wait and see women. Ngojea na wana wana wake. Doing exploits. Wakifanya mambo ya ajabu. I love the way Natasha. Ninapenda Natasha. The way she is surrounded by men. Ambaye amezungu kwa na wana ume. How does she feel? Come here Janet. Just come here. Just come here. Come here. Come here. Uh -huh. Come here, Pastor Getimo. All men, come here. All men, come here. To be here, when I'm in my coffee, Missouri. Imagine a girl like this. Security details. In a danga, a Kenya in a danga, if you could japa to Miss Wamungu, Simama Hapo, Japa Nikonesha detail, a Kenya in a Kuanga. If you give your detail, a Kenya in a Kanga, could you hapa, Mr. Getimo, Simama Hapo, could you hapa? Kuja hapa. Hallelujah. Nataka tupereke huyu dada kwa kiti yaki ya kakai chini. Go. Edeni. Look at that. Look at that. Onyale ya kare ya igua. Naneko at. Hallelujah. Imagine, imagine the women that God is raising will be guarded by men. Will be guarded by men. May God raise more Natasha's in our midst in the name of Jesus. May God raise more Natasha's 
in our midst in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you know how I pray in my sacred place now be my wife siku moja ni muone tu amekuja kwa church magari mawili iko nyuma iko bere ingine yako hapa diko haka katoto kanatoka kwa gari gai 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 may it be your portion may it be your portion women of power listen to this sikiza hii most of the international doors are opened by women milango ya kimataifa inafunguliwa ngo na wanawake wanaume ambao mko hapa mm-hmm. milango yenu iko kwa hawa wadada amen haleluya amen if you want to know ukitaka kuenda end a life mhm basa katimo hii week itavuta siku moja uende live na simu yako uone views ni gapi uende 2 hours Alafu after one day uangalia ni views gapi. Mm. Zikipita 12 ukuje nikupe gili moja. Then Pastor Naomi aed hata siku mbili. Hi, I just want to check on you. How are you doing? Dakika gapi? Uone venye zitakoi ki stream. Because women has power of attraction. Kwa sababu wanawake wako na nguvu ya kuvutia. May you use that power of attraction. Na ukatumie hiyo nguvu ya kuvutia. To attract men to the kingdom. Kuvutia wanaume katika ufalme. To attract men in the kingdom. Kuvutia wanaume kwa ufalme. I believe this women that I have. Ninaamini hao wanawake ni kwa. Will draw men here. Watavuta wanaume. Will draw men here. Watavuta wanaume hapa. Kila kitu ninachopanga sana ni hii. Amen. Mwanaume akikuja kwa church na bibi yake hakuji na ogopaga sana lakini as long as your wife is coming here mm-hmm. your husband will follow you mm-hmm. because you have a force of attraction kwa sababu uko na nguvu ya kuvutia haleluya haleluya may that power that is in you na hiyo nguvu ambayo iko ndani yako may god use that power na mungu akatumia ile nguvu to attract wealth kuvutia utajiri to attract favor kuvutia ukupenda to attract cash kuvutia magari to attract kibali uko nayo si Mungu asaidie ivute pesa kwako ivute pesa kwako ivute mali kwako in the name of Jesus ukitaka biashara yako ikae mzuri sana weka mke wako hapo haleluya one of the days in our kiabu church i gave up with the church and i, and I went home For three months Aliacha tu kwenda kwa kanisa kwa miezi mitatu. I gave up with God. Akarushia Mungu mikono. Kwa miezi tatu sikuwa naenda church. Mm-hmm. Kurudi. Mm. Ufanya nini? Rudi. Nilipata wanaume wamejaa hivi. Gemenya goko no dunyo any time. Akajua hapa anaenda nani. I must stand here and say I am the pastor of this house. Anisimama akasema ni mchungaji. This one is my wife. Na yeye ni mke wake. And nobody can tunya me. Na hakuna anayeweza kumnyang'anya. Haleluya. Amen. Women you are on demand. Wanawake mko kwa demand. Don't sell yourself in cheap market. Usijiuze kwa soko za bei rahisi. Haleluya. Amen. Ukitupwa wacha kujidharau. Amen. Ukidharauliwa na mwanaume, ni soko ulikuwa mbaya. Haleluya. Kama kuna mwanaume alikuwa anataka kukuoa, akutumie vibaya na akutupe. Siri ni bili. Mambo ni magapi? Mambo ni magapi? Matatu. Abia nipo mambo ni matatu. Mambo ni matatu. Haleluya. Amen. Jambo la kwanza, sahau yenye yamepita. Jambo la pili ni kuoga. Jambo la tatu ni kurudi wapi? Soko. Kama hujawahi ikia tena. Mm. Are you getting me? Amen. Abia neighbor ni kuoga na kurudi kwa soko tena. Ni kuoga na kurudi kwa soko tena. Amen. Amen. Yes, tafuta bagi mzuri ya kutishanga siku moja. Na unaoba wimbo kwa church. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na unahakikisha if you get an opportunity hata kama ni ya lift ya kwenda airport, enda upigwe picha hata kama ni wana wazungu wawili. Alafu weke kwa Facebook. Uko confuse your ex. Come on. 
Halo. Halo. Wajue wewe sio mtache. Wewe sio mtache. Halo. Halo. Goli ya mwe meraganeke. Goli ya mwe hodhagianeke. Nane guwa mwuri ya fata. Tumia. Haleluya. Amen. Elo siyo kiyo kone mutumia we pere we. Ah, nataka utatesa mutu. Goli ya we meraganeke. Nane guwa Uliza huyo mwigine Goli ya we hodhagia neke Goli ya we menaga neke Nane guwa mwuri ya fata Mwambia wewe ni kidole Mwambia uko sawa Tafuta mwanamuki ya baya meolewa Mahali Kama utafuta mtu wa meolewa Mwabie venye uliabua ni wongo Mwabie unakuwaga na kichwa na ukona akiri Mwabie wewe si ngombe venye uliabiwa Wewe si ngombe venye uliabiwa Halo Halo Mimi kuna wanaume wana nitisanga sana Muda ya na mtu mia yake ohananyo kwa Wadaka ahane fafanyo Mtu wanambia mke waki anafana na mama yake Yeke hana fafa na yo hana mamu anyu Halo Halo Kunitusi ni kuniabia hana fafa Wana siyo sana Unamtusi unamuambia nafana na baba yake Wana siyo sana Ukiabia mwanamuke unakaa baba yako Iyo umemtusi Lakini kumuabia anakaa mama yake Ni kumuanyisa kwa productive na ako sawa Aleluya Akikuita ngombe chukua pade mzuri ya ngombe Ya kutoa maziwa Mpe maziwa kwa hiyo nyumba Halo Wana sifiwe Ukitu wa ngombe chukua pade mzuri ya Maziwa Ya ngombe Wana siya sana Ngombe ni provaida kwa nyumba mingi Wegi unatuona hapa tumeradewa na nini na ngombe na wanda wewe ni ngombe akikuita punda vepa watoto wake ajue wewe ni punda kabisa haleluya but don't allow any man to humiliate or intimidate you usikubalishe mwanamke mwanaume yote kukuweka chini ama kukuzi haleluya know your substance and your value jua wewe na ujue dhamana yako na ukiitwa ngombe wacha kutafuta dhara ukiitwa ngombe Wacha kukaa kama ngombe. Haleluya. Ukiitwa guruwe, kuwa pade mzuri ya guruwe. Jipeane mwili wako, utoe mwatoto, umpe watoto kumi. Ajue wea ni guruwe. Unajitolea kutoka na dani. Halo. Let no man intimidate you. Usikubali mwana mme yoyote ya kueke chini ya makuwa. Haleluya. Nataka ukasidike useme, I am a woman of purpose. Mimi ni mwana mme mwana kusimu. I am a woman of grace. Mimi ni mwana mke wanaema. I will not be intimidated. Sita tharauli wa tena. I will not be intimidated. Sita we kwa chini tena. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Pia Yesu makofi ma. Mazuri Wow, tupigie baba yetu Makofi mazuri Amen, amen, amen Tupigie minister faithi Makofi mazuri pia Amen, hallelujah